Good morning, everybody. Isn't that a beautiful day today? Today is the 15th of May, 2020. Did anybody see the rainbow this morning? I saw it this morning. I went for a walk and the rainbow was beautiful. Obviously rained last night. And what does the rainbow mean? That God will never send a flood again. Okay, that's God's promise. The rainbow. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Good morning, Mr. Monkey. Mr. Monkey's joining us this morning. <laughs> okay, shall we read our book? We're going to be reading Firefighter Red. Okay, let's go to our book. Firefighter Fred on the farm. Firefighter Fred, can you see him? Is off to help on the farm. First, he feeds four fat pigs. Four. Okay, let's count them. One, two, three, four. Next, he fetches some hay on a fork. He fills two buckets with fresh water. Firefighter Fred is working very hard, isn't he? Good morning, girls. We are busy reading about Firefighter Fred. And picks some fruit for the farmer. Finally, he finds five speckled eggs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five speckled eggs that the hens have laid. Thank you for all your help, says the farmer. Now, would you like to come fishing with me? Well, Firefighter Fred was working so hard and now he's going to go fishing. Firefighter Fred likes fishing best of all. How many fish can you see? And can you find four frogs as well? Okay, let's see how many fish. I can see one, two, three, four. Can you see any more? Okay, let's see all our frogs. We need to find four frogs. Let's count. One, two. Oh, look at this one hiding over there. Three and four. Four frogs. Okay, let's go over what Firefighter Fred did on the farm. What did he do first? First, he fed the four pigs. Then he fetched some hay on a fork. And then he fills two buckets with fresh water. And he picks some fruit for the farmer. Okay, there we go. Apples and oranges. And then finally, he finds five speckled eggs. Okay, Firefighter Fred, can you make his sound? Okay, that was the story of Firefighter Fred. Let's get our paper out so we can do Firefighter Fred. We want to draw the letter F. Okay, have you got your paper out for me? And a pen? We're going to do the F. Okay, so we start at the top. Okay, we're going to do a little curl. And we're going to go around and down. And we are going to cross it okay can you try and draw the f for me f for firefighter fred would you like to see what a big f looks like okay i'll show you as well and then we can draw maybe a feather okay let's start at the top down it's just like you're drawing a one or a line okay then we cross up there and in the middle okay there's the big and we use that for names and places okay capital it's a big and a small let's go over it with our fingers okay round down and cross okay one more time round down and cross okay can you draw a feather so we can remember 
Okay, I'm going to draw a feather here. So we can remember that a f starts with a feather. Does it look like a feather? There we go. F for feather. Have you done your f yet? Good. Okay. Today we're going to do some baking. And we're going to do some sticking. We're going to have lots of fun. Do you have your cups ready for me? Or your toilet rolls that we're going to build with? Oh my goodness! Hello Mr. Giraffe! What are you doing on my page? Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look, he's in my classroom, in my kitchen. Oh my goodness! Hello Mr. Giraffe! Okay, we're going to have a few friends visiting us today. Hello! <laughs> Okay, do you have your cups here? Here are my cups. We're going to be doing some building. Okay, so if you've got cups or toilet roll, toilet paper, I'm going to get a paper so you can have a better look at my cup. Okay, can you see it better now? There we go. I've got a cup, a pink one, and I'm going to stack it now. A green one. If you got your toilet rolls, you can build with your toilet rolls. Your paper, it's got to be the paper. A full toilet roll. There we go. Your toilet paper. And there we go. Five stacks. Can you see them? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to turn it to show you. Okay, I want you to build a tower for me. I'm going to show you with my toilet paper now. Okay, can you see my toilet paper? Okay, there's one roll. I'm going to build a different towel with my toilet paper. Okay, two. I'm going to build it on top like that. Let's see how that's going to work. Okay. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Is this going to fall over? I don't know. Okay, let's try and build it with two now. Okay, I've got four now. Okay, let's see. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to put number seven on top. There we go. <laughs> okay, so see how big you can build your tower and different ways of building it. Okay, see I put one on top and I used two to build my tower. Can you see there? Okay, or you can just build it right on top like that. Okay, you can do whatever you would like to do. There we go. Okay, lots of fun. And you can do this at home, especially on the ground where you have lots of space and I want you to build up. Use cups, you can use toilet paper, whatever you have that can build a tower. Okay, that's fun. Let's pack our toilet rolls away. And we're going to do our five little ducks so that we can learn our numbers, counting to five and counting back. Let's go. Thing with. Five little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But only four little four ducks, little ducks came, came back, back. One, two, two, three, three four. four Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But only three little ducks three? came back Oh goodness! One How many are missing? Two Three Morning, Three Daddy. little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother uh, duck said, said quack, 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 quack. How many ducks came back? Two little ducks two came ducks. back. One, two, two, 
Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. One. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But none of the five oh, little ducks came no, back. No, ducks came back. We are all the ducklings. Sad mother duck went oh. out one day over the hill and far away. Look how sad mother she is. Mother duck Shame. said quack, 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 quack. And all of the five little Yay. ducks came back. Five little ducks five. went out one day. Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack And all of the five little ducks came back Good! One, two, three, four, five! Good! Lovely! Did you enjoy the ducks? I love that song! Alright, can we get our paper out? We are going to do some... Oh, there's my giraffe again. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. Oh, nice of you to join us today. <laughs> okay, have you got your tea bag? Okay, what are we going to do with our tea bag? It's going to be messy. So if you don't have a cup or anything, you can just put it on a tray or just try not to make too much of a big mess. I want you to break it open. Okay, oh, can you smell that? Mmm. That's what tea, that's what it looks like inside a tea bag. Okay, there's your tea. Because we're going to use this to stick in our flower. Okay, and your toilet roll. We need our toilet rolls. Toilet roll. And we need our popcorn kernels. Okay, are we ready? Do you have a pen? Or a, and a paper, we're going to draw our flower. Okay, so you hold your toilet roll, and we're going to trace around our toilet roll to make a circle. It's going to be the center where our flower is. Okay, the center of our flower. There we go. If you need help with that, just ask mommy. Okay, let's draw our petals now. If you want to draw them, just using the toilet roll again, you can make them round. There you go. See, I'm going to go all the way around to make a flower with my toilet roll shape. Okay, what shape is that? It's a circle. There we go. Can we make our beautiful flower? There we go, all the way around. Trace your toilet roll and try and get your circle, your circles to touch. Okay, there we go. Lovely. We're tracing all the way around. If you don't want to use a toilet roll and you just want to draw the petals with your with a free hand, you're welcome to do that as well. Okay, and it doesn't matter if the toilet roll doesn't make a perfect circle. There we go. I have done my flower now. Can you see the middle of my flower? And my petals all around. Okay, lovely. If you've just joined us now, we need our tea. We've just broke our tea bag. And we're going to use this to stick in the middle of our flower, in the center. Okay, get your glue out for me. And we're going to stick our tea bag all in the middle. Okay, just glue the center for me. Okay, and then you can just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It's fun to sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, and it will get a little bit messy, but that's okay. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having lots of fun. There we go. That's our center of our flower. Have you sprinkled, sprinkled, sprinkled? 
There we go. Lovely. Okay, try and cover the whole middle of the area. There we go. And that's all we're using our tea for. But you can make lots of flowers. I'm going to pour the rest of it into my cup. That, the rest of it that didn't stick. See, I just folded my paper like that. And I just poured the rest in. You don't have to do that. I just make find it's easier like that. It makes less mess. There we go. There is my center of my flower. Now, do you have your popcorn kernels? We are going to use the popcorn kernels to make our petals. Isn't that going to be fun? Okay, can you get your glue out again for me? And we're going to glue our petals. Okay, how many petals do I have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. How many petals do you have? Can we try and count in Afrikaans. Yen, twee, three, vier, vijf. There we go. I've got five petals. Okay. Did you put glue on your petals for me? All right. Get your popcorn out for me. Your popcorn kernels. And we're going to stick them on. You can take one at a time if you want. One just one at a time like that, or you can sprinkle whatever you would like to do. Don't our flowers look pretty? And we're going to go around and we're going to make our flower. It's a popcorn flower. <laughs> Lovely. Can you hear the noise my popcorn makes in my bowl? Wow. It's like a musical instrument. Okay, there we go. Stick, 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 stick. Remember, it's going to take a little bit of a while to dry. So don't try and pick up your paper just yet. It's got to dry, especially if you're just using prick like I am. If you're using the other glue, it will probably stick a bit better, but it will also take a long time to dry. There we go. How is your flower looking? Is it looking pretty? Okay. What do you think of my flower? Do you think it looks nice? There we go. Good job. Are you nearly done? Are you still busy? While you're waiting, I want to tell you that Miss Manners has made some special videos for you. So you can go to my website, Mommy Knows the website, www.teenytots.ca.za under the e-school is Miss Manners and she's made some special videos for you. So please go and check it out. Go and watch. Very, very cool. Okay. There we go. Does anyone know what day of the week it is today? Do you know what day it is? It's Friday. Yes, it is. So what will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be Saturday. Okay, Friday. It's Friday the 15th of May 2020. There we go. There's my flower. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay, you can carry on sticking if you're still busy. I'm going to pack my popcorn away and my glue. Okay, and then I'm going to just, we're going to shake our fingers because we've been working very, very hard. Okay, oh, there's my giraffe again. Oh, goodness, you keep giving me a fright. <laughs> 
Okay, let's shake our fingers out a little bit. We've been doing a lot of hard work. My goodness, these fingers are saying they're so. Okay, shake them out, shake them out. Let's do some rolling. Roly poly. Okay, roly poly. Let's go to the one side and the other side. Okay, can you make some waves with your hands? Up and down, up and down. There we go, lovely. Can you go on top and below? On top, below. There we go. Good job. Okay, and your shoulders up and down, close your eyes. Open them, close your eyes. Oh my goodness, this monkey oh, keeps giving me such a fright. Oh, yeah. Okay, hello Mr. Monkey. There we go. Are we all ready for our next one? Are you nice and got all your energy out? You stretched a little bit. Oh, goodness, this monkey is really looking at me, isn't he? Is he looking at you? I think he's looking at you. <laughs> okay, are your flowers done? Are they? Okay, we're going to sing our Twinkle Twinkle Little Star while we finish off our flowers, okay? And I want to see you doing your twinkles for me. Okay, are you ready? Let's go to our Twinkle Twinkle. Oh, oh my goodness, and there's a lion now. <gasps> sure, he gives me a fright. <laughs> Okay, twinkle, twinkle, let's go. Wasn't that a lovely song? Don't you just love Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Oh, my giraffe. Good morning again, Mr. Giraffe. <laughs> just keep popping out, eh? Goodness, at least it's not as scary as the lion. <laughs> okay, are you ready for your baking? Look, let's get all our ingredients out. I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, you need some oil. It can be, I've got coconut oil here. You can have a different type of oil I'll show you as well okay and my tray will come now flour you can use this oil as well just a normal oil okay there we go we need our cocoa powder okay cocoa you need your little mug okay I'm gonna put this on a tray now and then you'll see a little bit better some water 
Make sure you have a little bit of extra water because if you need to make it a little bit runnier. And then you can have some xylitol if you've got instead of sugar or sugar and some vanilla. And you need your spoons, your measuring spoons. Okay, there we go. I'm going to make some space here. Okay, what do you have? Do you have all your ingredients ready? Do you? Yes? Good. Okay, so you can use normal sugar, or if you don't want to use sugar, you can use a replacement like xylitol or something like that. Okay, maybe coconut sugar. Have you got your mug out? Do you have your mug? Yes? Okay, what do we need to do first? Okay, we need a teaspoon. Let's do our dry ingredients first. What are dry ingredients? Do you know? Okay, those are things that are not wet, like your flour. Okay, get your flour out for me. And we are going to put four teaspoons of flour. Okay, let's count together. Okay, so just fill it like that. One. Two, three, and four. Okay, a teaspoon is, how much is a teaspoon? Five, five mils, okay? Five mils. There's my teaspoon. Five mils, okay. So now I put in, how many? Four, four teaspoons of Flour. Okay, we are done with the flour now. Now we're going to get our cocoa out. Okay, how many teaspoons do we need? Okay, two. I want to see you get two out for me. One. Two. There we go. Two. Now, do we have any more dry ingredients? I mean, yeah, dry ingredients? Yes, okay, the sugar. You can put sugar in or xylitol. I'm going to put in how many? You can put as much as you want in to make it as sweet as you want. But this recipe asks for four. One, two, three, four. Okay, four. Now we're going to go to our wet ingredients. Okay, you call them the wet ingredients. Okay, we need, you can give that a little bit of a stir just to mix all the dry ingredients together. You can see flour, cocoa, and sugar. There we go. Okay, now we need a quarter teaspoon. Are you ready? A quarter teaspoon, okay. So that's only a very little bit. One part of the teaspoon. Okay, even that's too much. There we go. Okay. There we go. Half quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla essence. Okay, now we need our oil, okay. You can use, like I said to you, just normal oil. Or you can use coconut oil. And we are going to put how much? Two teaspoons. One. And two. There we go. Make sure it all gets in there. Now, what do we still need? What do we still need? Our water. Okay. We need, let's see, how much do we need of the water? Okay. Also, two. But we might need to add a little bit more, just depending on if it's very dry or not. Okay. Can you see? We're going to need to add a little bit more water. Okay. So it's a little bit, see, it needs a bit more water there. There we go. Okay, so let's put two more in. You must just add as much water as you need. There we go. And 
17. Okay. There we go. That's looking like a brownie. Oh, does that look delicious? It really does. Okay. So you can add as much water as you want. If you want it to be very runny, like a nice um, squishy cake, or if you want it to be very firm. So it's all up to you. You need to figure out what is the best. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more water in, I think, just a little bit, so that it's not too dry. There we go. Okay. And you need to finish this after the lesson. Okay. So you put this in the microwave for 30 to a, 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how long it takes to cook the cake. And also your microwave, you know, everything different, differs everywhere. You might have a very strong microwave. There we go. Or you might not. Okay, that looks absolutely delicious. Okay, so we still need to bake it. Or you can bake it in the oven. If you don't like to use microwaves, you can bake it in the oven. No problem. There we go. Okay, that's our microwave brownie mug. Mm. Okay, so between 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how long it takes to cook it. Okay, so you just mix it all together, and voila, enjoy it. Okay, mm -hmm. you can pack away all your little things, and we are going to sing a song. We're going to do Wheels on the Bus. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready for Wheels on the Bus? Okay, let's go. I want to see you all. Rolling, let's go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Good, the wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. What do the wipers on the bus do? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. What do the doors on the bus do? Do you know? The doors on... Oh, the monkey. The doors on the bus go open and shut. Open and shut. Open and shut. Doors on the bus go open and shut all day long. And what does the horn on the bus do? The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. What do the babies on the bus do? The babies on the bus go where, 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 where. The babies on the bus go where, where, where all day long. What do the mommies on the bus say? The mommies on the bus say shh, shh. Good, the mommies on the bus go shh, 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 all day long. What do the grandpas on the bus do? The grandpas on the bus go read, 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 read. The grandpas on the bus go read, 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 all day long. Good, oh, good morning, Mr. Lion. <laughs> Okay, and the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Oh, wow, what a beautiful tiger. Good morning, Mr. Tiger. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh? I think he's looking at you. Isn't he beautiful? Wow, we. Okay. Are we going to read our dinosaur book? Shall we? Okay, I think I'm going to have to get my board out. One second. We are going to read our dinosaur book. Okay, Peekaboo Dinosaur. Are you going to read with me? Yes? Okay, Peekaboo Dinosaur. Can you see him hiding there? Peekaboo! <laughs> P 
peekaboo spotty dinosaur. I see you way up in the trees. Can you see him? He's hiding up there in the trees. Peekaboo. <laughs> okay, let's turn. Peekaboo shiny dinosaur. I see you swimming in the sea. Can you see him? There we go. Peekaboo spiky dinosaur. I see you running on the sand. Can you see him running? And there are his spikes. Can you see the spikes? Lovely. Peekaboo baby dinosaur. Can you see him hatching from the egg? Yes. I see you peeping out of your egg. <laughs> Peekaboo funny dinosaur. I see you hiding in your cozy cave. Can you see him hiding? You've got a sparkly cave. There we go. Peekaboo dinosaur. Yay. Okay. Let's do some quick stretching before we draw our picture. Stretch up. Up to the skies. Can you stretch up? And make some rain go down. And rain go up. And don't forget to make your fingers wiggle and rain go down. Okay. And let's stretch to the side. And other side. There we go. Lovely. Can you make little circles with your wrists in front of you? Little circles. Okay. Stop. Other way. Change direction. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Good. Would you like to get out a piece of paper for me so we can draw a pretty picture together? Would you like to draw a picture with me? I want to show you what my flower looks like so long. Okay, let's look at my desk over here. Can you see my flower? My popcorn flower. Isn't it pretty? You can make lots more of these flowers, okay? And you can just draw them as you want. See, just circle. You can make some oval petals. You can do whatever you want, okay? And then you can decorate it some more with all our tea we have left over and our popcorn, okay? You can make a stem. There we go. Look at that. Okay, do you still have your popcorn then? Okay, we're going to draw some more flowers. Color, color, color. Look at my flower. I'm just drawing my flowers now. Would you like to draw some flowers with me? And I'm going to do some grass. My grass is sticking right up. Mine's very shaggy grass. Okay. Can you go up and down like this with your pen? Up and down. There we go. Okay, so you can add to your picture we've already done. And you can do some more sticking of the popcorn. Or you can just draw and make your flowers. I'm coloring in some leaves. What about if we draw a beautiful butterfly in the sky? And a bee. Didn't we learn about insects this week? Yes. Okay, I'm going to draw... A butterfly. Okay. Butterfly. That's a dragonfly. I don't want to make it into a butterfly now. Okay, so you can make a dragonfly. Butterfly. Are you drawing a picture with me? It's fun to draw together. There we go. So you can make whichever patterns you would like. Must forget the antenna on top. There we go. Okay, my butterfly. What else should we do? Should we make our flower look a bit prettier? I think so. I'm going to do some patterns on my flowers. You can make all sorts of patterns. See? And you can color it in. Or you can do more patterns. The nice thing with flowers are they 
so colorful and they have so many different colors you can make them special just like you okay purple let's get some purple and you can also draw some clouds and the sun there we go mine's a very different flower and you can put some dots in the middle okay there we go um i need some clouds i think what do you think we need some clouds and i'm going to maybe draw a mountain some puffy clouds in the sky here we go and maybe my flower needs a stem here we go okay so let's draw a mountain in the back it's going right behind the flower or it could just be a heel we can add some different colors to our grass there we go what do you think pretty okay so what did we do today today we drew a flower with our toilet rolls and we put some tea and some popcorn kernels on and then we finished our flower our flower picture didn't we and you can draw lots more now if you want to when we finish with the lesson and we built with our towers we made a toilet paper tower and we made a cup tower what else did we do okay we did some baking we did lots of lots of fun things today didn't we okay so today is friday so i won't see you tomorrow but i will see you on monday i hope you have a lovely weekend and i love you lots Mwah. goodbye